Let's talk about how you can basically sleep for free around the world and how to get started. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite way to travel and that is by house swapping. Yes, like Kate Winslet in the holiday. Let's dive in. I'm going to go over the frequently asked questions that I get asked about home exchange and starting with the most obvious, what is home exchanging? Home exchange, also known as house swapping or home swapping, lets you trade houses with people from all over the world for a specific period of time. So the concept is pretty basic. It's just that you and someone else who are interested in visiting each other's destinations swap homes. Each exchange is unique, so you can swap homes for a few days, several weeks, or even months. It just depends on what terms you agree to. But this is different than an Airbnb because no money is exchanged for a home swap. So how exactly does a home exchange work? So there are different ways to do it. Nowadays, most people find their house swaps on specialized platforms for home exchanges. My favorite platform and the one that I exclusively use is Home Exchange. So now you go on these platforms, you create a profile, and then you can browse other houses around the world and connect with other home exchangers. So similar to Airbnb, on home exchange platforms, you're gonna find filters and search options that will help you find the right exchange for you. And that can be based on location, specific travel dates, or even preferences. So as you're checking out different homes and profiles on the platforms, you can often see someone's calendar of availability. And then if you find a home that you want to swap and you see the dates are available, you can reach out and ask them if they would be interested in a swap and start to connect with a potential home swapper. So one cool thing that I learned that you might not know about home exchanges is that your house swap doesn't have to be simultaneous. So that means that you do not have to swap homes at the same exact time. And you don't even have to swap your homes for the same amount of time. So there are things called non-simultaneous swaps. And that just means that maybe you're going to someone's house in November and they're coming to yours in April. This often happens with people who have second homes or people who travel often. And on a platform like Home Exchange, you can even earn and use points. It's kind of like free money. So to give you an example, let's say I'm visiting family in Texas and staying with them in their home. And my home in Spain is vacant. Well, someone from Home Exchange can stay at my place by paying me points. And with those points that I've earned during their stay, I can use those points in the future to stay at someone's home on a future Home Exchange. The next question that I often get is, is house swapping safe? So I would say yes. I have done it multiple times and have never had a safety issue. No one has ever stolen anything from my home. No one has ever damaged anything in my home. And often I would say house swappers in my home have left my home in better condition than how it was when they arrived. Now, of course, letting strangers into your home isn't risk-free. You do need to use a reputable site to find a home exchange partner. And again, home exchange is who I use and that is my go-to. If you're interested in checking out home exchange, grab the link below. So some things you can do to ensure a safer swap are to research and communicate with your exchange partners. Also discuss expectations and establish clear guidelines and agreements to ensure the most positive exchange for both of you. So if you're wondering, what about my stuff? How do I protect my belongings during a home exchange? I would say this is a really valid question and a great one. I would suggest that you safeguard your valuables, so whether that's jewelry, heirlooms, or sentimental items. You can put things in a home safe or leave things with family or friends while you travel. But you don't need to go overboard removing everything in your house. Just use your judgment on what you feel comfortable leaving in your house with someone else staying there. The next question I often get is, is it creepy having a stranger stay in your home? I mean, when I was thinking about home exchange, it was a little creepy to think about somebody staying in my home that I didn't even know. I mean, could they be trusted? What if something happened? What if their house was nothing like they said it was, et cetera, et cetera. After many, many house swapping experience, I can say that it's not creepy. I mean, am I creepy? I'm staying in other people's homes. And so my experience has been that home exchange has felt like tapping into this community of really warm, trustworthy, and reliable people. You have to remember that the people that you're swapping with are homeowners themselves. So they are going to take great care of your home as if it were their own. And what I really love about home swapping is that sense of community because you get to build relationships with people and you can even have multiple swaps with the same person if you both are exchanging in destinations that you want to go to again. So that leads me to the next question. How can I find a reliable home exchange partner? 
Again, you need to use a reputable site to find a home exchange partner, and most of these platforms have measures in place to verify members' identities. So next, you need to do research on anyone who you're considering. There's gonna be a lot of information on their profile on these platforms. You're gonna see everything from how long they've been a member on the platform, how many swaps they've done, and also ratings and reviews, not just of their home, but of them as guests in other people's homes. So I try to stick to exchanges with people who have verified profiles, have detailed information about their home and about themselves, and I've also put in the time to show great pictures of their home and that their home is you know clean and tidy and also people who have quite a few exchanges or at least a few exchanges under their belt another thing I like to do to just connect with who's coming to my home is to hop on a zoom call beforehand before we finalize the exchange to get a feel for how they are and also to ask and answer any questions that they may have or that I may have and when looking for that reliable partner it's also important to establish clear expectations with anyone that you're choosing to do a home exchange with let them know if there's a cleaning fee, if you'll be exchanging cars, if you live at the top of a hill. And also, last but not least, listen to your gut and to your instinct. Do you have a good feeling about this person staying in your home? So what are the costs involved with a home exchange? So most house swapping platforms will let you look at homes for free, but to reach out to anyone to connect or to finalize a home exchange, you're gonna have to pay an annual or monthly fee to join the platform. Memberships vary, but they can be anywhere from $50 to $200 a year. After that, there shouldn't be any additional fees from the platform, but an additional fee that you need to be aware of is a possible cleaning fee from the homeowner from the house you're going to. If there's a fee and how much that will be is really up to the homeowner. So just make sure you discuss that before house swapping. Another popular question I get is, can I exchange homes with someone in another country? The answer is yes. And if you're here, I hope that you're looking for house swaps in other countries. I exclusively use home swapping to stay in other countries. I've used it in Germany, in the US, in Mexico, in Colombia, and soon in Canada. I think it's a great way to see the world. And if you live in a big city, and an in-demand city like London, San Francisco, New York, it's gonna be pretty easy for you to find a house swap. People wanna to go to your cities all the time. But if you don't live in a major city, don't worry. There are all different types of exchanges out there. People who wanna to go to rural areas, to the seaside, small towns and villages, uh, and big cities as well. All right, we are here to the last question that I always get asked. It's, what do I love about home exchange? Well, what I love is that it's really changed the way that I travel, especially because I'm a remote worker. So I think it's a great option if you are able to take your work with you on the road because home exchange allows you to stay in someone's home. It's not an Airbnb. This isn't a sterile environment and a place where you're not sure what kind of internet connection you're gonna have. I mean, since the pandemic, most people now have a home office um, and at the very least they have reliable internet. So I think that is a huge perk for being able to travel through house swapping. Plus it's a great way if you wanna slow travel. I think I stay in places longer now from a few weeks to to a month and even longer because it's so nice to be in a nice home in a desired city and have your work set up but also have the opportunity to explore somewhere kind of like a local I think house swapping also just opens up other options that you may not have had otherwise I mean we got a request for someone in New York City who lives in the Chelsea neighborhood and has a two bedroom who wanted to swap with us for up to three months I mean, I could never afford to stay in the middle of New York City in a two bedroom on my own. Plus it might lead you to somewhere that you may not have considered. I definitely had people on Home Exchange reach out to me who maybe weren't located in a city that was on the top of my list, but they had a really awesome home or lived somewhere that once I did some research, found out was pretty cool. And I'm totally open to have new exchanges and new experiences like that. And then probably one of the biggest perks is that you just get more bang for your buck. When you're traveling, you don't have to pay for two accommodations. You know, your home back home and your accommodation while you're traveling. In my case, we just pay for our mortgage here in Spain and we can stay in cities like San Francisco or London basically for free. All right, well that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about house swapping, home exchanging, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, my name is Seppi, rhymes with Peppy from SheHitRefresh.com, a community for women aged 30 and over who want to move abroad. I myself made a move from Texas to Spain back in 2015 when I was 35 years old. It's been eight years now. I am still in Spain living my best life. 
If you're looking to move to Europe, be sure to check out my digital book, I'm Out of Here, an American's Ultimate Visa Guide to Living in Europe, where I go over the 18 easiest countries to move to in Europe based on viable visa options. You'll find over 50 viable visa options for you there. And if you're a woman age 30 and over looking to move abroad, join my next Move Abroad Masterclass. You can find the link below. And also join my free Facebook group where you will meet almost 11,000 like-minded women who also wanna move abroad. You'll find tons of support, information, and resources to help you with your own move. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, turn on notifications, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future Move Abroad content.